and welcome to Stars of Your Travels. So today I'm at a very first time for me here. I'm at Portons Park. And the good thing, finally, after being completely spited last year, it was going to be King to Car for number 200. Sadly not. So uh, I thought we'd go for something a bit more tame for it because it's about the best you can get in England. Uh, so the new coaster here will be my 200th. So I think everyone's waiting around now to, to go in. I'm hoping, aha, there is, there's bathrooms right before park, brilliant. Because that's exactly what I needed. Let's just have a quick look around out here. I'm gonna try and avoid filming children. See so if I suddenly move the camera, you know why. Really nice, pretty entrance actually. Already it looks really well kept, really clean. Like you can't see like those chewing gum or whatever stuff on the floor. So, so far I'm liking it. And even in the park and I'm liking it. Really nice big symbol there. That's very clearly named, isn't it? And I have no idea where I'm going, but I have a map, so I will find a way. And a smoking area. And a way. Don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just going to go over here for a minute. Got no idea where I'm going. Don't know the route around the park. Never ever been here before. My vlogs mostly show the rides, not like how to get around. So, basically I'm screwed. I'll find somewhere to, to step out of the way for a minute. Loads of people have got in a line there. Loads of people in a line there, so... We'll figure something out. Okay, so everyone's queuing now for Pig World that way along the Tornado Springs. As much as I do really, really want to get on that new ride, I have to do it fourth out of the coasters to make it my number 200. Uh, another long queue over there for the Lost Kingdom. I think there might be some access way over there. I'm just going to have a wander around for a bit because everyone's queuing, so I ain't going anywhere fast at the moment anyway, so I thought I might as well just... Just have a wonder with the camera, show you guys some stuff. Not many people seem to actually bother showing like the, the gardens and the grounds and that in these places. I quite like all that how this is quite open, but I just feel like a very crowded path there. I know obviously they're waiting for the area to open, but I would have just let them let them go in before <laughs> before the rides actually open. Like what's what's the big harm in that? Oh this looks pretty. A sort of Chinesey area, some water features and stuff. Let's have a little walk through. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to avoid kids in the shop is kind of going to be difficult today, I think. Oh my god, this is so pretty. No! Way to get some shade for a couple of minutes, I suppose. Oh, it looks like they're letting them in over there now. That one's not moving yet, though. The animals in there? There's like different birds and that in there. <laughs> looks like my first new ride of the year. New poster, anyway. It'll be this thing. Petrosaur.
not long got off my first ride of the day here at Paltons Park, coach the number 197, ride of the Pterosaur. I actually really enjoyed that. It was a really, really good family ride, like decent for a thrill seeker, but not like thrilling. But you know what I mean, like a good, good gentle start to the day. Um, yeah, really happy with that. Uh, I'm now stood in the smoking area, so there probably are a couple of these around. It did take me a little while to find that. It's not very clear, I mean, because this is like right at the end, right at the barrier of the park, down this path behind um, behind the boomerang. But it's good to know where they are if you are a smoker. And I think it's really good that it's so out of the way. I mean, I would never have found it unless I was looking for it. Um, I mean, whether all the rest of them are like that, I don't know, but hopefully, because at the end of the day, it's mostly a little kiddies park, so you don't really want, like, people smoking around the little kids so it's good that there's a nice separate area for it I am trying to quit though but you know what I mean long drive and all that nice surroundings as well around the outer rim of the park was like, there was people on there a while ago like as if it's a golf course or something that would be pile on in the distance I don't know the only thing is it's a smoking area and there's no benches there's also no cover if it rains here so could be a little bit better, but meh. You're mostly worried about the rides, as am I. So in a minute, I'm going to head probably do the boomerang next. Uh, and I think there's an, I don't know if there's another coaster in this area. I need to check um, before I then head over to the other side. Or maybe if there's some flats, I might leave them along the way. Or the little, like, dinosaur tour thing or something before I head over to Tornado Springs to get coaster number 200. <laughs> There's quite a lot of roller coasters around the world that do it. Uh, loads in Europe. So we just got off of Velociraptor and straight round to Dino Chase. Uh, Velociraptor was alright, quite simple family boomerang, nothing to shout about, again lap bars, so nice that it's pretty much seems lap bars all around here so far, um, not that you'd need over the shoulder on that anyway. So in the queue to Dino Chase, where they've got it elsewhere, they've got like barriered off between the rows, which is pretty good. There's a queue board for Dino Chase, a little like sand pit playground thing there. And that uh, is the cute entrance right here for Dino Chase. Dino Chase, here we come, very small one. I realised I did mess up slightly by coming over this side of the park first, but I don't know if there's enough coasters to the other side to do it, because I'm going to have to head over to Tornado Springs shortly, and then I'm going to have to come back, um, because there's a blue poster over there, but plus there's a bunch of other flats in that, like there's the drop tower um, over near this way. Uh, the markings in the ride lines are pretty clear. Not everyone is sticking to them though, so I'm sort of like between two markers at the moment. There's someone really, really close behind me and someone not quite on the marker in front of me, so I'm just sort of trying to do the best. They seem to have three cycles ground on this. That's an interesting one in fact, actually. I forgot to say on the other day when I did fly and fish, I managed to get three rounds on it. Usually you get two. There we go, now we can see it a bit more clearly over here. The theme around here and all the rides is so far pretty darn good. Loads of little dinosaurs in the ride line. Hey. There's like random bits of theming. 
there's like audio coming from the playground though. There's, there's no like audio coming from here. Or like if you know how to get it rattling or something. That'd be kind of cool. Obviously all these effects cost money, so fair enough. I'm trying to show you a bit of the playground without getting kids in it, because there are a couple in there now. Should have filmed it earlier already. But yeah, there's a couple of things in there. But also, I don't know what this is, but I'm probably going to do it while I'm walking through before I go over to the next area to get on coast to the number 200. Got a little discovery trail. So I'm guessing you're looking out for different bugs or insects or something. There's a picture of an insect on there, so I'm guessing it's insects. Um, but yeah, liking the park so far. Uh, Donor Chaser, it's exactly what it looks like. Tiny little baby kiddie ride, so not much to say about it. All right for your little ones. Not one to waste time on, but the queue went really quick, even though it did three laps, waiting two or three minutes, if that. Really like the surroundings. Discovery Trail, let's see what's down here to discover. So far some pretty plants. Take a stroll through our wooded trail as it weaves through trees and marshes. Discovery Trails have been built to encourage all manner of species native to the new forest to set up home. There are interactive boards along the route and over 40 birds and bat boxes. What will you discover upon this tranquil path? telling a bit about the trees but I'm guessing most of you aren't interested in trees probably most of you just watching this at the roller coasters but I kind of like to show the whole experience of the park where I can especially if it's somewhere I've not been before oh, so we've got to look out for these things little thing for the kids to play with speakers don't seem to be playing any, anything though. So far just uh, plastic animals. Rainbow! Hashtag happy pride month people. It is pretty. I haven't seen anything other than plastic animals so far. I can hear loads of birds. Well, I needed to come in this direction anyway. Though so far this doesn't seem like there's an awful lot to be seen. Bug house. I don't actually see any bugs. Oh, a bit of the fence there is broken, so that's why this is boarded off. Yeah. Beautiful looking park. We've got some wildlife now, we've got some flamingos over here. I might skip going much further though. down this way just because I want to do the coasters and rides and I'll see the rest of the animals later. Some other funky little dudes over there. I know I've said I'll look at the animals later but I literally have to walk past this anyway. Oh dear. There we go, we can see him. He's weird, like it's, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera but he's bright red. Loads of them in there. Really is beautiful grounds. I wouldn't be surprised if like locals with an annual pass in normal circumstances would just come just have a wander around and maybe like sit in the grounds and just have some lunch. If they're really local, I mean how close any houses are to this I don't know. It's really nice how many flowers and stuff they've got around. You don't often see this in the UK but it's just like so well kept. It's a load of pink spring, a little spring straight it says. Oh that's cool. But like trees in the shape of animals. I'll have to get lots of photos later. Now I just want to kind of get over there. 
I can see Storm Chaser. Coast number 200. Little kitty car right here. Yeah, there's an arrow that way. That is really nicely themed. I really like this. I mean, it may not have like massive thrill rides, but this park is really nice, especially for families. Oh, there's a train. It's nice that they've got that. It's cute, I'll have to ride that later. Just look how clean and fresh the parks look around here. Theming on the path, theming around the path. Loads of plants everywhere. So far my allergies haven't been set off either, so that's good. Despite all the plants. I love how they're like, got so many characters that are made out of the trees. That's really nice. So as I was trying to find the entrance to uh, Storm Chaser, I found the entrance to Cyclonator. It says 10 minutes, it's nowhere near that. I'll be on the next side for this. Howdy so. horses. Welcome to Saclinator. This has got like really Your good safety reviews. safety at the park is at top priority. So before takeoff, please listen to the following safety instructions. Guests must be a minimum of 1.2 meters tall and six years old to ride. Any person under 1.4 meters tall or eight years old must be at all times. Once the cyclonator has landed and the ride has stopped okay, back in the station, right. please take care as you undo your safety strap, climb out of your seat, and exit the station by following the signs. Now hold on tight while we kick up a storm! Yeah! yeah I'm going to film any other ride from here. So uh, before I went on Storm Chaser, which I'm going to do in a second, we're at a coaster number 200. Um, I went on Cyclonator. I've got to say, I think that might be a contender for the best flat ride in England. I mean, obviously I've not done Apocalypse at Drayton Manor yet, so for me that could probably overtake it, I would imagine, because I do love Drop Towers, but that is really, really good. I'd definitely say it beats Rush. Uh, not too sure if it beats Eagle's Claw, to be perfectly honest, but it's been that long since I've rode it, it's hard to tell. Uh, I doubt I'm riding it anytime soon. Don't know what's happening with that, I don't know if it's still there or... I think it's gone. It reaches quite a height. The air time on it is so intense. You properly like come out of your seat. I the only thing is when it pushes you forward, it's kind of hard to sit back afterwards. You can see it reaches quite a height. as well it's not like the most long cycle on the planet but it is decent uh, good to note on this when you go on this you're not to put your own bar down they come down automatically and then you just plug in with the seat belt 
See, that was a little bit fiddly to take off though, to be honest with you. It's one of them awkward button push in the middle ones that decide it don't want to unlock for ages. And also, uh, just saying a big sh shout out to a ride operator on there. If you're watching this, hello Greg. It was nice to see you, even if you didn't recognise me at first, but that's what happens when you're wearing masks all the time. All right, now let's try and find the entrance to Storm Chaser. Roller coaster number 200. Little railway bit you're walking over here, so if you've got balance issues or whatever, just watch out for that. Oh, okay, that's it. Just walk. Right. Oh dear. People were walking in a very stupid way then, I couldn't get past. And your tower. Oh, so that's these little towers. Barely any queue for them, but I'll do them later. So bear in mind, today is a sold out day pretty much. There was a couple of tickets to come available last night, hence why I'm here today. But sold out day, half term. Yes, obviously, then probably lower capacity for social distancing, etc. But 15 minutes of Storm Chaser, I would say, is pretty darn good. So again, this is on my phone now rather than the camera because I think it picks it up better in here. Now that there's not horrible people up my arse, it is a lot darker than it's showing on the screen. I think my phone is a lot better at handling the low light. I'm hoping that didn't just break my mug. People behind me getting stupidly close while they're walking. So hopefully they will stick to the They did. I have not long got off of Storm Chaser. Roller coaster number 200 for me. It was good. It was good. It was quite forceful. Um, the only thing is because I was like holding the sign to get like the typical on ride photo. It doesn't seem to have on ride photos. So I'm really glad I didn't spend out on the photo pass because that was sort of like the one ride that I wanted an on ride photo on. I tend to get one on like at least one roller coaster in each park just to try and like remember the park by, but oh well. I can't be bothered to probably spend the money on something that I don't really want a picture of. Um, they're sending this entry. But yeah, the, the force on it, it did take off quite a lot. I mean, obviously it's a Mac spinner, so throughout the day it's probably going to get more and more intense. So I've definitely got to ride it again later on. I'm just going to hit up all the, the small little rides now, do the other coasters that I haven't done yet. Um, and uh, go from there really. 
We're not doing too bad looking for a the time. I think it's about lunchtime. To be fair, there is a restaurant around the corner that looked, looked decent, so I might see what food's on offer. But from uh, seeing on videos beforehand, it does look like food, and that is quite expensive in the park. I made by so far without getting a drink, but I'm going to need to get one soon because this is almost out. So I'm going to have to spend money anyway, but you know I mean, trying to be trying to be thrifty. Things pretty much everywhere in the park. Got some really gross, like water thing there. Theming is nice, though, pretty much all over the park. <laughs> but so you wouldn't think it for a little get frog hopper type ride. Yeah, that is really forceful. I thought the queue would be longer than it was as well. I was using the other arm. And I think the contestant was um, just sat on the other arm. So loading one while one's going got like a water slide thing here 30 minutes so it's the longest wait time I've seen in the park it does look like it probably actually would be that see if we can film someone coming down don't know if there's any way you can like are allowed to put your bag while you're queuing up so that it's there for you at the bottom or if you have to take it on presumably you have to take it on Oh, they've, got, they've got ride photos on that, but they haven't got ride photos on the new ride. How the hell does that work? Burrito place? Burritos are nice, but I want to talk about the main restaurant later. Little tractor ride. I think this might be quite nice actually, this little tractor ride. So I'm probably going to actually do this. It doesn't look like I'll be waiting that long. I should do this tractor ride in a minute. So I've just spotted over here. There's a smoking area and this one has benches. Got a really nice sign there saying Portons on it. Nice animals. This is much nicer than the other one. Train going by. I have to find the train entrance later. It's really dark on the screen. The ride there is really nice. I really like that they've got these things. I mean, whether they've actually got holes in, it looks like they do. Yeah, they must do. But it's still a lot better than other parks have done. So it's really nice that they've got that. Kind of like Ethelin. I think Ethelins are a bit. Look, go back with your family. Go back with your family. <coughs> Someone's coughing right behind me.
stuff. There's like maintenance stuff, cutting grass, trimming hedges. They're doing a fantastic job. So I'm only doing a very quick sort of breeze through because there was an absolute idiot who was basically threatening me in the queue line who would truck his ride with these little kids with him just because I asked him to step back a bit so now we can have a problem here and just his tone was really aggressive so I don't want to spend too long in this area because I feel like this guy's probably going to try and do something I mean I can hold my own but I don't really want to have a fight with someone in front of their child or just in general, because I'm not a dickhead. Really well kept grounds, literally everywhere here. I wanted to have a go on that. That's really unusual, that little ride. Going up and down like that. Boat ride. There's such a nice variety here. There's loads of small little rides here. Loads that aren't going with people in there. So I'm guessing it's gonna be walk on. Unless there's something wrong with the ride. Oh no, it has got a queue. Why are they sending it around empty then? Maybe there's something wrong with it. Yeah, but for now I think we're going to come back later for that because I don't really want to be in this area because obviously that family's going to be here somewhere. And I moved pretty sharpish when I got off so that I wouldn't run into them, but... You never know, so I'm just going to try and avoid some people. Little, uh, what's this? Oh, a little animal bit. More animals here than I realised. Oh, meerkats, I love meerkats. Meerkats are so cute. <laughs> They're all hanging around over there, though. Who doesn't love meerkats? They are so cute. Yes, you're so cute. Again, I'm not going to hang around here too long. Oh, they're in a bit of a scuffle there over something. What are you scuffling about, eh? Just trying to get into something there. Not really sure what this little guy is. He's running around like a mad one, though. Seems to like that corner. I think they've stood in a good place. So I'm not going to stand there because social distancing and I'm not an idiot. Oh, this would be interesting. Whether my camera is going to work very well in here, who knows. Nocturnal home. Oh my god, I love them, they're so cute. Oh, the Fenric Fox, I love these guys. I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but he's gorgeous. Obviously he's in a red light because it's nocturnal animals. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, hello, there's another one over here. Oh, wait, there's one up here. We'll be able to see him a bit more clearly. Hopefully I can get a picture of him. Where is he? There he is. Got a picture of him. Lucky the nocturnal bit. 
I blind you with the sun. Big birdies. Got another insidey bit here. Oh. Either that was just walking to the outside bit again. Probably, yeah. We've got anything in here? Nothing I can spot. They've got monitors. Essentially like the closest living thing we've got to a dragon. They are so adorable, I love them. They've got a decent amount of space as well. What this is, the water mill. All I know is it looks pretty and it's quiet. And those are two very good things. Oh, that's cool as well. It says Poulton's on it. It doesn't look like there's much around here. Maybe it's just a bunch of old walkways with a couple of animals on. It looks like it's a big run round though. Got very big beaks, whatever they are. I would say this kind of feels almost Eftelingy. Like, not with the rides themselves, but just the feel of the place, how you've got these big open spaces. So the water mill is quite literally just a water mill. Still interesting to see. There's me just saying it feels Efteling in Max and Maurizio. I know most people watching this wouldn't have ridden Max and Moritz. It is a vlog from Efteling on the channel with Max and Moritz in. Nice. There's a green open space around the park. I do find it strange that they've not got something here to stop people going on the train track. Haven't seen the train come round for quite a while. It's obviously not quite a regular one. Oh, penguins! Oh, looks like some babies at the back as well. How well it's coming out on camera, I don't know. It's really bright now and for some reason going really blurred. The other side. Oh, we've got a weird little birdie there. He just flew off as soon as I started filming him. Ah, toilets, there's not many of them about. Whether someone's left money in this or it's just kept going, I don't know, but that's moving. I didn't record it for long because there was a kid that was coming away and I didn't want to... I mean, obviously, I never believe there are going to be some kids in shops, but I try and avoid it wherever I can. Ah! Yeah, there's loads and loads of little rides around. Little tugboat thing. I don't even know what bird that is flying about. It's not a seagull. Long chaser. I will be going back on that later on today. For the moment, I want to get round to the other side, do the ride so that it didn't do there before I like hound storm chaser for a while. I might do another one on that um, pterodactyl flight as well, because that was a really good ride. But I can vote. Oh, I'm seeing so much stuff I didn't even see before. Beastie Bites, another food place. There's really not many toilets around. Where's the entrance for that poster? 
I think there's meant to be another little one as well, but I don't know where it is. I'll do this one. Pretty Creek. so nice. I can't get over how nice it is. It's like really good standard, especially for England. Some bug area. Found Nemo already. Oh, reptiles. I love reptiles. Where be the reptiles? Hiding right at the back. You're probably not going to see him on camera. I can sort of see him. Just about. Can't see this little guy. Or anything in there. Lovely that they've got so many different like walk around animal bits. I mean, I couldn't see much in there, but a lot of it was people getting quite close, so I just moved on. Now we've got Caterpillar Coaster. I don't think there's that many coasters for me to get now. This is bigger than the other little one, that dino race thing. I had a queue for this though. Oh, 
it just says beef burger on here. But um, they're, uh, they are willing to swap things because I don't eat chips, I know I'm weird. Um, so I asked them, is it possible just to have onion rings instead? And they said yes, so yay. Quite take close table, they've actually got them just caught cornered off. Positives and negatives about the food here. Negative. I waited like 40 minutes, maybe a bit longer, to actually get the food, even though it was dead when I went in there. Um, positives, at least I know it's fresh. Uh, also positives, the staff were really friendly. Um, they they um, allowed me to swap chips for onion rings, not everywhere does that, but they did. Uh, price wise, it wasn't too bad for theme park food. But the mu muffin was so good, it was really really good. Like, so although it was expensive, like I actually think it's worth that. It's definitely fresh, probably made in park I would imagine. But it tasted good, this was a good muffin. Burger itself was alright, burger's burger. Really thick slices of pickle in there. Uh, enough onion, could have been I mean, a little bit more, but enough for most people. I, I like onion and things. The onion rings, oh my god, they were so good. Like, genuinely, if you like onion rings, then either get them with your stuff or just get them to swap the chips out because it's worth it. There are a couple of lockers around the park. Not many of them granted, but there are a few. To save your stuff. And the water ride there but hopefully won't destroy my camera or my phone we'll this way you'll know if it destroys my camera because it won't be a vlog so I'm presuming it's probably bags on oh, I haven't seen that around any of the rest of the park but there is a water bottle filling station there Oh, is that broken down or are they just stopped on it? Oh no, I think it's broken down. Oh no, I was about to ride it. Wait, no, it's going. It's definitely going. Quite a long queue here. But what ride on a very hot day, what do you expect? It's going way out of the area for the queue. But the station looks like it's just quite close there, so... Although it's a long queue, it's probably not going to be too bad, I would imagine. It's just because of how busy it is in the area, I might... Oh wow, it does go all the way around there. Maybe I'll do a coaster and then come back. It's going to be busy now, I think, anyway, regardless. I see how long this takes. Because I do want to have the chance to dry off before the day ends. So I'm not just wet in my car. Hope it's closed up. I know Edge is the running today, it's only closure. Plan maintenance in the park. So I just realised on that they have sent quite a few around empty. Basically a whole circuit's worth. There are people on again now. It just shows how quick they are. But I say the operations here at Portland's Park are brilliant. Probably some of the best operations I've seen in the UK. And it's it's not even just like one or two rides either, it's it's consistent across the park. So they've trained their staff really, really well. So uh, yeah, big up to Portland Park staff. This this is it's going brilliant. That's a good ride. I'm going to go back on that later. I will have more rides on Storm Chaser. Those are going to be my priority. But while I'm over this side, I'll definitely get another one on Pterodactyl's flight. See how you say it. I know it starts with a P, but it's not pronounced like it. Yeah, it's gone round. A few little huts to get food and drink in that place. Is, although, I, I feel like when it comes to food and drink places, a lot of theme parks, like, it's really in your face. And like, buy this, buy that. 
whereas the food places and that, yeah, they're here, but they're sort of more tucked a little bit out. Um, excuse me, the end of the queues. Oh, that's the Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit confusing because you've got like another pathway coming from there, which then like if you here, so it's I guess it, it's easy things. for people to confuse here. But yeah, like, as I was saying, like it's quite good how the food places and that you can find them, but they are they're not in your face. They're not like it's not. I don't feel like I'm being sold everything constantly, which is good. Like you're not exiting into a gift shop all the time. There, there seem to be a couple of gift shops around the park, but not many of them really. So I'm imagining that that big toy shop at the entrance would be the, the main shop. I'm hoping that they've got some kind of mug or something, just because I, I always like to get at least one from the park, or ideally a hat, because I like my hats. If you watch my vlogs, you know I like my hats. I've got my hats from pretty much everywhere. Sometimes multiple. Sometimes I'll go one time and I'll be like, I'll buy that hat next time, but I'm going to get this hat this time. I mean, my Baron hat, I've had about three of them. <laughs> So I broke a couple of them, just because of overwear. You're on. It's swinging right, going round now. It looks like it's actually going pretty fast and pretty high. I didn't think it would be quite, quite as big as that. It's extended up a lot higher than I thought it would. It's really nicely themed as well, actually. They have had to send some empty at points. But they, I'm seeing some pretty big splashes coming down. So uh, it looks like I'm going to get drenched, but, oh wow, it's hot, it'll be good to cool off, I just hope the water's not rank, but it, it looks clean and the rest of the park feels clean, so hopefully we should be okay on that front. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of awkward with the cues in this particular bit because you've got this queue which so goes through a pathway there and then you've got a queue for food there <laughs> sort of see that through the material stuff I've got it all the way up in here it closes you a bit more than the rest of it does what I wanted. Also in the note, because uh, I think some people might be worried about like standing and watching it here. You ain't getting wet here. It's not even like water in the air here. It feels fresh. One a good thing to note about this park is there is quite a lot of random spaces that aren't really being used at the moment. They said the savvy to put the benches right at the end in the shade. So obviously with this park investing quite a bit recently, hopefully we might see these bits developed as well. I feel like this one's gonna hurt. Got a cred's a cred. Got over 200 of them now. Whee. Whee. It's worth noting as well, sometimes it says face covering requires, it says like on the ride or, or in the queue. So although this one doesn't require a face mask on the ride, Definitely isn't popping on for you because it's sort of undercover. So I would feel much safer wearing my mask.
Cobra. I, I was wearing my mask in the queue line and then took it off uh, to go on the ride itself. Um, it was a good ride. Not qu quite as bad on the corners as a lot of these, but you still feel them sort of thing. Uh, good fun, but I come up a click. It didn't come up two clicks, so I was good because, you know what I mean, I always put it in an extra click just to be on the safe side anyway, but that should not be coming up. The ride staff seemed to think it was okay because it didn't fully come up, but I did feel like I had to push it down and was slightly scared because if it did come up one more than with these corners, that could have been it. <laughs> so uh, that's scary. I don't think I'm going to be doing that one again. As much as I actually really enjoyed it, after that incident, that incident's enough to put me off of it, at least for today. Very, very least, particularly because they didn't stop it or anything. I don't think they've sent it em empty, that train. So, uh, not best impressed by that. Ah, so this is what Magma is, this Magma's the drop tower. Not many masks in sight on that. Nice facade. Obviously been recently painted. I know it's just come down, but that was quite a cycle as I was walking along. And it feels like the rest of this bit back here is kind of dead. So I have to wonder and see what's where. I haven't found the entrance to the train ride yet. I'd quite like to do that. Magmar. Off of uh, magma. I've got to say, all around the park, pretty much everywhere, line wise, other than like in the restaurants, like, well, at least the outside food places, has had pretty good social distancing markers. Not there. Barely any. Ended up with kids right at my ass, and the one marker that there was, they completely ignored. So. I managed to sort of stand between as much as I could and then kept like putting my arm out to try and get the kid to move back. This looked fun, I saw this while I was on Magma. You get some really nice views from it. Uh, the ride itself though, eh, kind of poor but what do you expect at the end of the day? <laughs> That was it, and then it goes backwards. Here's hoping there's some storm chaser merch. Really nice theming. Especially for the outside of the shop, but it's nice inside as well, actually. Oh, we've got Tornado Springs shirts. It's quite nice. Got hats. I don't know if I want a hat, to be honest.
this is the awful what it's like at the end of the day here. Zero minute wait, no one waiting on the stairs. Straight on. I even got to stay on as well. So I said, oh, if no one comes, I'm going to stay on. I had no problem with that. So it's all good. I do think I'm going to go back to Cyclone 8, although I have one or two more on that and call it a day. We're pretty much at the end of the day here now anyway. It's probably, well, not very long left. I still didn't find the entrance to that damn train. I want to know where I get on that. <laughs> They're loving it. That I had to go on I'm loving that. It's quite forceful though, so. We're going to write something else forceful. <laughs> Zero minute way for Cyclonator, best flat ride in England, in my opinion. Yeah, and it is genuinely zero minutes because we'll be on this one. I say we'll, I mean me. It's quite a nice queue line. I like the theme tune to this as well, it's quite jazzy. There's sort of an only toilet that found in the park. There are a few around, but few and far between. The 4D cinema is out at the moment. It's one of about only two things that are closed because of social distancing measures. Oh, that's cool, I never saw that earlier. I think it's park side on the gate, that's cool. I think that's where I had dinner early. I think I showed it from the inside but not the out. The wild forest. Ah, lots of other women have had the same idea of let's come here because there's only three toilets outside. So uh, if you're planning on going to the toy shop, I recommend going in the day when it's quiet. There is a big queue now. Whether there's anything else interesting merch-wise in there, I don't know. It probably is just toys. They haven't got a lot of merch for the rides around the park. I'm mean, presuming they must have some in a big shop. Who knows? That's it then. Days over here at Fulton's Park. I had a final two rides on Cyclone, Cyclone 8 or something like that. It was really good. Um, and really good of Greg to let me stay on once I'd got, well, once it come to an end. Like the one that I was, oh, that's really nice. Oh, these fountains are really nice right now. Oh, and then the air's gone. There was a nice breeze. Little tip, if you go in a loo before you go out, just, oh, okay, I'm standing right here. Um, just use the ones that are, like, by the entrance, but, like, still inside the park, because there's a lot more of them. There's only three stalls in there in the ladies, so they're going to be a while uh, on the way out. Unfortunately, they turned off the ice machine, so I was a little bit late on that one, because usually I like to get, like, a cup of ice when it's really hot. Then I can put my drink in it when I get in the car so that my drink's nice and cold but the ice machine was off but she's on me a, a cold cup of water so that'll do me i just i needed something to cool down right especially because i've got to drive back and i'm on my own and i've got a headache so nice cold drink will definitely see me right but overall i've got to say this is a brilliant brilliant little park i mean i say little park it's not even that little there's there's enough to spend doing a whole day here really like, especially if you've got kids with you, then you could easily spend a whole day. Possibly two, depending how busy it is. 
So half term I probably would say two, because if you're doing all the little kids rides, you know what I mean, they've got a bit more of a queue. But overall for, for us big kids like me, it, you know what I mean, a day's perfect. I got on everything that I wanted to get on multiple times. It'd be a bit of a nightmare trying to get out of here. But I'll just chill in the car for a bit. Oh, nice bit of shade. Not a lot of shade here in this park, in fairness. It's burning sunshine. I cannot remember exactly where I'm parked. I know it's over there somewhere. Where exactly? Who knows? But this is going to be fun. It's going to be in a queue to get out for the next hour. Where is my car? Gotta find my car. Can't find my car. I should have really like noted the letters. I didn't even see letters earlier. I think I was just too excited to get into the park. But yeah, come here. It's a nice little park. Like the 35 quid entry, I'd say it's worth it for the day. Like, yeah, it's good. Especially if you've got a family. If you've got a family, it's like 100% you've got to do it. Where the fuck is my car? Oh, there's my car. I found my car.